All right. Now we're doing free code camp, JavaScript algorithms and data structures beta. Learn local storage by building a to-do app. Step 58. All right. So the item we retrieve is a string, all right? As we saved it with json.stringify, all right? So to view it in its original form before saving, we need to use json.parse, okay. So we're gonna use get item to retrieve the mytaskr array again. This time we'll wrap it inside json.parse, assign it to a variable getTaskRobj, and log the getTaskRobj to the console. Okay. Then we'll check the console to see the difference between get task R and get task obj. Okay. So first things first, we're just trying to view this thing that we made that's stringified into its in we're trying to see this, excuse me, this back into this style. All right. So first things first, we're gonna make the get task R obj uh, variable. So we'll say const get task r obj, right? That's going to equal. And then we're just going to do the same thing we did up here, the local storage.getItem thing. So we'll just take this at the end of uh, 124. We'll drop it off thusly, all right? So now that we got this going on, let's wrap this up in parentheses, all right? And then in front of that, we're going to say json.parse. Whoops, dot parse, like that. And then under it, let's cap this off with a semicolon. And under it, we'll say console.log. And what we'll put in there is the get task our obj. Just like that. And we can see this is the stringified version. You can see everything's wrapped up in strings. All right. And then this is the original version. It's just a task. This is just a key of value pairs like that. All right. So there we go. Uh, awesome, I guess. Check the code. Looks good. And submit it. All right, now we're on to step 59 and we'll see you next time.